Siri has been around for years, but most people use it only for really simple stuff like asking about the weather or playing music. And that's fine, but Siri can actually do so much more. If you know the right commands, it can save you time, keep you organized and even make your iPhone or Apple Watch feel like a real personal assistant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Siri like a pro. These are real everyday commands that you can start using right now. And trust me, they'll make your life a whole lot easier. Let's start with productivity because honestly, this is where Siri is a lifesaver. Think about this. You're rushing out of the door and you remember you need to send an important email later. Instead of unlocking your phone, opening reminders and typing it in, just say, hey Siri, remind me to send the email when I get home. The beauty is it won't nag you right away. Siri waits until you're actually home and then reminds you. Reminder uses location-based reminder and sets it to remind you exactly when you reach home. Or maybe you're in the kitchen making a grocery list while your hands are messy. You can just say, remind me to buy ice cream when I reach Costco. Next time, when you are in Costco store, you will see a reminder pop up about your ice cream. Scheduling is just as simple. Let's say someone asks you if you're free for a meeting. You don't have to scroll through your calendar. Just say, what's my schedule tomorrow at 2 p.m. or what's on my calendar this Friday. Siri gives you the answer instantly. And for those random ideas that pop into your head, don't risk forgetting them. Just say, hey Siri, start voice recording. Siri starts a voice memo and then you can save it to the notes app and transcribe it. It'll be so helpful for students who want to record their lecture without unlocking your phone. Another way is instead of setting alarms manually, you can just say, wake me up at 7.30 a.m. every weekday. Or if you are in a focus sprint, set a 25 minute timer for my focus session. I've easily tripled my productivity based on these tricks. Give it a try. Now, let's move into the everyday hacks. These are the things that save you time from opening apps or Googling stuff. One of the most powerful things is using Siri with shortcuts. This is where you can create your own custom automations. You can create a shortcut that will do 10 different actions, but invoke them easily by just calling shortcut name to Siri. For example, I can just say, hey Siri, log my water intake, and it honestly records it into the health app. Or if I'm at a restaurant, I'll just ask, hey Siri, calculate tip. And Siri runs my shortcut that gives me the exact amount. It's fast and I don't have to do the math in my head. I have made a whole video about how to create these shortcuts using the inbuilt shortcuts app. It's a bit detailed, so I'll leave a link to the video in the description. Check it out if you're interested. Conversions are another super useful one. If you're cooking and a recipe says one fourth cup of all purpose flour, just ask how many teaspoons are in one fourth cup. Or if you're traveling, convert $10 to euros. You don't need to open a browser or calculator for this. One of my personal favorites is translations. If you're learning a new language or traveling abroad, just say, how do you say good morning in Spanish? Buenos dias. Not only does Siri show you, but it also pronounces it out loud so you can get it right. Okay, before you move on, I want to quickly thank Brilliant for sponsoring this portion of the video. You've seen me nerd about smarter ways to use tech, but behind the scenes, I've been itching to level up my foundations, especially coding and AI, because AI really is the next big thing, and I just can't stop myself from exploring. So this month, I decided to actually start learning with Brilliant.org. It's perfect for me because I can dive into topics like Python, data science, or even how AI and LLMs actually work without feeling overwhelmed. What I loved right away is how approachable it feels. Instead of sitting through long lectures, Brilliant throws you straight into hands-on problems with beautiful visuals, hints, and instant feedback. You're learning by doing one small challenge at a time. The UI is super clean. I can pick it up on my phone in quick breaks and the gamified streaks honestly make it addictive to keep going. And the range of topics is huge. Whether I want to explore AI, practice math and logic puzzles or just sharpen my problem solving. 
it's all there if you want to join me and start learning too check out brilliant.org using my link in the description you'll be able to try it out and there is a 20% discount on the annual plan when you sign up honestly it's been way more fun than scrolling instagram I'll get back soon with an update on how my learnings are going but now let's get back to our video. Okay, let's say you're heading out. Siri can make travel way less stressful. Before leaving home, just ask Siri what's the traffic like to Redmond or how long will it take for me to get to work? How's the traffic to reach Bellevue right now? Siri pulls live traffic data so you know exactly what to expect. If you're already on the road driving, you don't want to mess with your phone. Just say navigate me home or drive me to Pike's Place Market. If you're using CarPlay, Siri just handles it all without you taking your eye off the road. Oh, if you're running late, this one's helpful. Just say share my ETA with my friend. Siri automatically sends them your live location so they can see when you will get there. Siri isn't just about asking questions. It can also control your device settings and even your home. Let's see how Siri can control your iPhone more efficiently. Instead of digging multiple menus, just say turn on low power mode. Enable do not disturb. Or increase brightness to 80%. Turn on flashlight. It's instant and it's way more quicker than doing it manually. And here's a lifesaver. If you can't find your Apple Watch or AirPods, just ask Siri, where's my Apple Watch? Or even ping my AirPods. Siri connects to find my app and makes your device ring. If you've got smart home devices that works with HomeKit, Siri becomes the hub. You can say, turn off living room lights, lock the door, or set the thermostat to 72 degrees. And of course, messaging and calls are so much easier when your hands are busy. Try, text my friend on WhatsApp saying I'm on my way. Or call mom on speaker. That's perfect if you're cooking, driving or just don't want to touch your phone. Now, let's be real, it's not all about productivity. Siri can be fun too. You can just say, play relaxing music, or play my gym playlist. If you use Apple Music, Siri pulls straight from your library. And for a little entertainment, ask Siri to flip a coin, roll a dice, or even tell you a joke. If you're into sports, you can ask who won the Seahawks game. Or if you like staying up to date, give me today's headline. And here's something a lot of people forget. Siri isn't just on your iPhone. On the Apple Watch, you can start workouts, check your heart rate, or set timers while you're exercising. With AirPods, you can trigger Siri completely hands-free, which is perfect if you're walking, cooking, or driving. In the car, with CarPlay, you can do navigation, calls, and music, all without ever touching your phone. And on your Mac or iPad, Siri can open apps, search for files, or adjust settings with just your voice. So once you start using Siri across all your Apple devices, it feels you've got a personal assistant with you everywhere. So that's how you use Siri like a pro. It's way more than just checking the weather or playing music. Siri can actually help you get things done, stay organized, and even make life more fun. The key is just knowing what to ask. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more tips like this and let me know in the comments what's your favorite Siri trick. Or maybe you just discovered a new one today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.